We hoisted our sails and set a course south. No. Yeah. This Sanity. This is the line to get in. We just turned starboard. We are headed directly to our anchorage. This is it. Farthest south we've ever been. Until tomorrow. Oh, that's fantastic. Fair winds and following seas. We are Brett and Jade Evans. Our motto, let's, is a life philosophy that has propelled us from experience to experience, all of which has led us here. Stepping onto land and into the arms of a great community and accidentally lingering a little longer than we planned. Subscribe and welcome aboard on our greatest expedition yet. Welcome to our warm winter. This time last year, things looked a lot different. But warm or not, we're still on the hunt for public Wi-Fi to help us stay connected with all of you. We'll be depending on Surfshark VPN to help us safely deliver our creative endeavors and adventures to our new 100,000 friends all around the world. Surfshark is for everyone living a modern life with modern technologies and devices. It keeps us safe by encrypting our data while we're surfing on the web. And more importantly, it protects against companies and websites that try and change their prices based just on your location or even the type of device that we're using. Right now, you can get 83% off and three extra months of Surfshark for free by going to surfshark.deals Evans and using promo code Evans at checkout. Thank you, Surfshark, for helping us surf with confidence and take back the control over our digital lives. And an extra big thank you for helping us get around geoblockers so we have access to our favorite streaming services hidden libraries because a super safe and accessible movie night is the best way to celebrate our journey south a journey that started in maryland at the annapolis boat show the annapolis boat show in their own words is the world's largest and most prestigious sailboat show and considering we've never even attended a small boat show before we're walking into it with our eyes wide open this is, oh, insanity. This is the line to get in it just is, it's going, and wow. These are a bunch of boat enthusiasts, all in one place, and many of them watch YouTube, which is why the show invited all of us sailing channels to converge here. Annapolis Boat Show, day one. Here we go. Our weekly lineup included interviews, meet and greets, Patreon hangouts, lots of handshakes, hugs, and t-shirts. We got the Disney princess treatment of being stopped for selfies and autographs as we walked to the booth. Hello, right. Expedition Evans. Yeah. And we went home with very sore cheeks. Too much smiling. Too much talking, too much smiling. My throat hurts more than my cheeks. It was really loud last night from talking really loud to everybody. That's so true. we're, not we're very trashed. Good at partying. In between all of that, we occasionally managed to find food. But we haven't eaten anything yet, so we're hiding. We toured a few boats. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Oh, welcome aboard. And did some project shopping. Our favorite new addition is this cool bosun chair. AT and the owner even let Brett test out the display. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> And to be honest, it's not done yet because there is also a party in the house. Right. It's a party. We're only at the free party still. The after party. party. <laughs> Each night after the parties and the after after parties, the six of us made our way back to Eva. I don't think we'll be. It's too dark. Everybody say something so they can hear you. The heck do you Hello. fit this monstrous dinghy on your boat? In the starboard cabin, we have Nat and James from Sailing Zephyr. They started a boat project like the rest of us and actually managed to get to the sailing and tropical adventure park. The portside host Roberta and Duca from Odd Life Crafting. Three words, abandoned, sail, boat. Turns out we're basically the same people, addicted to fixing boats, but on opposite sides of the equator. And then there's David Shee, our couch surfer and fellow fiberglass dust aficionado, who is currently tackling his broken boat in Panama. We all gave Boat Week everything we had, including our voices. Your voice, Hardcore. Your voice is gone. I'm done. And we left the whole experience with great stories, great friends, and a much greater appreciation for all of you. And then we slept. We got comfortable and settled into routine here in Annapolis, but that extra break and lingering attachment to land came with a cost when winter threatened to catch up with us. So we hoisted our sails and with cold fingers set a course south, racing the changing leaves down the Chesapeake Bay.
What's the death? I've been so confused, losing my mind up here, dropping the anchor because apparently, okay, so backing up. You set an appropriate amount of anchor chain length for how deep the water is and what the conditions are. And the chain is color coded. It has these little color bars at 50 foot marks and it goes in a certain order. It goes on our anchor, it goes red, blue, yellow, green. And also there's the green one. I'm like, I shouldn't get to green until I'm at 125 feet, which it shouldn't be 125 feet. And I'm going, I'm like, really, I reeled it back in, put it back out and it took me a second, but I figured it out. Apparently the Chesapeake mud dried on top of the blue marker makes it a green marker. Right here, you'll see we have a, this is a blue marker. Definitely looks green. Now we know. And now I know how much chain I put out. So I can actually continue and finish setting the anchor. All right, I'm not even colorblind. Brett this is gonna give me a really hard time for this. And there's, there's yellow and some mud speckling. Beautiful. Now let's snub this baby. Because green would mean it was 125 feet. But you're like, and well, so I was going through everything. I'm like, okay, is this the first time we've anchored since the new batteries? Like, does the oh, wind like just go really faster fast. or something? I was like, I cannot figure That's it out. That's funny. That's what took me so long. Anyway, we're good. Set, sunk. I love the feeling when like I got it back down and it's just like solid. I like, crank it, crank it, crank it, and just like nothing. It's awesome. It's That's a very what he did comforting it. feeling. We are awake, we are jacketed, the dogs are jacketed. It's starting to rain. The sun is out though, we're going sailing. <laughs> we're mixing and mashing brands today. We've got West Marine coveralls. Are they called coveralls in sailing? Bib? Bib, there's a bib. My rooster shirt, actually this is Brett's. And then- That's mine? Yeah. You can go back it, so, you know. But where's that? You got REI jacket. Yeah. When I went in was windshield wiping the Dodger a while back, a bunch of you guys said that we should try out a product called Glass, no, yeah, Rain-X, Rain Rain-X. They have plastics, we found out. They do make a Rain-X for plastics, but they didn't have it at the store. Thanks for the recommendation. We are going to open the seal first. Should we read the instructions? Yeah, it says to wipe it on, and then wipe it off before it dries. And that's it. That's it doesn't it. say anything about to do it in the rain or not, but it's the only option we have right now. At low tide this morning, there was a teeny tiny little beach that showed up at the base of the cliff. So we took the dogs there to let them run before we go sailing, and we wound up with really, really muddy Because everything. you didn't knock it out before? It was wet and sticky. <laughs> Get some different shoes, because... I'm tracking mud everywhere. And now, well, I'll tie my other shoe. And then we'll race the anchor. We'll see how it goes. Jade put it on the plastics on here. The plastics is actually more of like a cleaner than a wax. So we'll see if it actually like beads off the water. It looks like it's doing a little bit better here than here. So we'll see. I mean, it's definitely better than nothing. It, at the very least, it's cleaner now.
winds are pretty light today. We got 10 knots of wind. We were headed downwind. We're gonna turn almost directly, directly downwind now. We had to wait until this giant boat passed by. I didn't feel like getting run over by him. Not feeling it. One six zero now. Now that we're headed downwind, it's nicer because we have following seas kind of just like pushing us along, but it also means that the wind is more behind us, which is pushing the rain into the cockpit. So... So now I'm standing here instead of sitting over there. And now we have a free freshwater rinse to wash the cockpit. It's a good time for it. Yeah. Nothing else to do. And the dogs are being adorable. Like, oh my gosh. Look how cute. We just jived, came a little bit more starboard, and basically matched our direction with the direction of the waves. So now we have exactly following seas. And I was laughing, I'm like, this is what people wish on us when they say fair winds and following seas. This is it, right now. Today, right now, fair winds and following seas. I don't think they thought about the rain. We should, we should add that to the saying. Fair winds, following seas, and sunshine. And sunshine. But for now. And warm air. <laughs> we got it right today. I'm using some stainless, stain, stain, stainless, try that again, stainless chrome polish. Can you tell? Yeah. It's making it look so good. I don't think I realized how tarnished it was until we cleaned one of them. And, and it was like, oh no, now we have to do all of them. Yeah, we gotta do all of them, yeah. And it feels so good. And then while I was doing that, while I've been doing that, Brett's been using the Plastex and he cleaned all of these guys. And then these ones on the outside, and then the inside's next. And it looks good too! It does make the water beat off a little bit better. For sure. It's not quite like rain x how it just like sheets off like no problem, but it's definitely better. I think it's a win. I think I'm most excited about how good the winch turned out. I did one of them, this one. Maybe because it's a larger surface and now you can see your reflection in it, like a mirror. It's part of it, but then the other part is because we've got a winch right here, and so we can very clearly see the before and the after. The wind is still nice, the seas are still following, and we're just hanging out watching our dinghy surf down these waves, trying to decide how long it will be until it hits the back of the boat. Also imagining our dinghy davits. <laughs> Drop in! There it is. I'm gonna make us some soup for lunch. I'm gonna eat it. Not necessarily because we want soup, but because we want something warm to hold in our hands. I don't know if you can tell just by looking. These are pulled fingers. those uh, like impulse buy items the ones that hang in the aisle you know what i'm talking about yeah they're like the impulse buy grab and go like uh, end cap type stuff yeah they have these soup cups and we've got them because i saw them and said hey those would be great for soup on crossings we shall see i can't believe how cold it is yeah we got the other panels out from underneath the bed. 
That was in the port cabin. Jay's giving them a quick wipe down before we put them up. And then we'll have a little more enclosure. This guy's very much in the way. No, he's not. Nice work. He didn't even move. <laughs> What are you looking at on your phone? I'm looking up the temperature of different places that we're headed to. It's 80 degrees in Florida right now. Nice. It's double. double. It's double the temperature. It's 10 degrees warmer in Norfolk, which we're only like a day away from that. But it's south enough. That's crazy, huh? Yeah, let's do that. You're a lonely sailor, and your soul is made of wind and rain, doubts and blame. I'm a weary pirate, and my heart is made of dust and gray, and spoils and pain. Updates are we just turned starboard, we are headed directly to our anchorage. First upwind sailing. And we've today. changed from downwind to upwind. Yeah, it feels good. We're scooting. We're not going that much faster, but it feels a lot faster. How fast are we going? Uh, I would guess six and a half. We just turned this corner on the point, furled up the headsail, we're gonna furl the main and then get the engines going and anchor our boat. We're just gonna navigate in a little bit closer and it's pretty calm tonight, but we should have plenty of protection in case the wind does pick up, but I think we'll be good. We found our anchoring spot. There is a cliff, not really a cliff, but a little bit of a raise above the waterline. A bunch of nice houses with their private docks and then out here's the anchorage where all the boats are anchored. Sometimes I wonder how they feel about that. But Brett's over here reeling in the dinghy, basically getting all of the lines out of the water. That way, nothing will get caught in the crop when we go back down on the anchor. And I am going to go get the anchor ready to set. And as a matter of interest, I am about to set our anchor. The farthest south we've ever been. This is it. This is the farthest south we've ever put our boat until tomorrow. I am a million times excited to drop the anchor and to go in and get work. So Jade put out the anchor and now we are backing down so basically finding the end of the chain and then pulling back on it to sink the anchor into the ground and hopefully we don't go anywhere and the anchor just sets deeper if we don't drag backwards. So I'm finding a spot off the side, a light. Are you just gonna point it at me? Yeah. Okay. You gotta arc it. Oh, that was close. That was. Yes, go overhead. Quit while we're ahead. No, I want more <laughs> patience. 